Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today we're going to do another quick hack tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how you can actually automate aux channels in Logic Pro X. For those of you that don't know what an aux channel is, it basically is a uh, extra channel strip in our mixer that we can route sounds to. And then from there, uh, what I'll show you is how to automate that. So turn certain parameters on and off uh, while the beat progresses. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is hit X on the keyboard to bring up our mixer. Again, that's for those newbies that might not know how to get to your mixer or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's what you do. And then you're going to um, go to your bus right here. So you have uh, two ways to use uh, buses. You can either use the output or the sends. For this tutorial, we're just going to use outputs. That means the whole sound that I'm that I'm uh, getting out of this uh, particular plugin is being routed into the aux channel. So if I go ahead and click on this and go to bus, I'll send this to bus one and this to bus one as well. So both of these sounds here, I have uh, an instance of Electra X and an instance of Omnisphere. They're both being routed to the aux channel right here that got created when I hit the uh, the bus like this. So if I were to create a new bus, I'll just show you really quick. If I hit this to bus two, another aux channel gets created. So let's stick with, uh, with aux one. Get rid of that aux channel, delete it. And uh, yeah, so if I play a sound, if I'm on this track right now and I play a sound, it's going to get routed into here. Right, so now we have two of these sounds being routed to aux one. That means the output on aux one is basically the sound combined sounds of both uh, the both the plugins. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, play back what I created so far, and then we're going to add an effect to this aux channel, and then I'll show you how to automate it. So now I'm going to put in a, uh, let's do a halftime plugin really quick. And we'll just change some of these parameters. I'll put it to a quarter loop, maybe bring the mix down to like 75%. All right, let's have a listen and see what that sounds like. Let's try a half loop maybe. sounds kind of crazy right so what I do want to do though with that uh, that half time is chop off the low end so I'm just going to add an EQ and chop the low end off as it gets uh, you know the sound gets routed through the half time and then finally into this EQ and then into the stereo output so so the reason I'm doing this is because I have a bass uh, already for this which comes in on the ninth bar and I just don't want those sounds to clash. In order to get to your automation, you have to hit A on the keyboard. When you do that, all your automation tools come up here, right? But uh, there's no aux channel that we, uh, you know, that we can automate. So how do we get this aux channel into the automation? What we have to do is click on this little on button down here. And now the aux channel has been added to uh, the tracks up, up top. And these are the things that we can automate. So here we can come down to half time and just use mix for example and I'm gonna draw some dots in here I'm gonna turn stuff on and off again just doing this very roughly right now but for the sake of the tutorial but let me show you what what I mean here <clears throat> half times on half times on half times off back on you know, you can keep going with this, obviously. But uh, yeah, this is a quick hack tutorial on how to automate aux channels in Logic Pro X. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you're notified anytime I upload new content. 
My name is CJ and I'm out for now.